Happy Thursday, everyone. Happy Thursday. How are you? It's your girl, Bronx Nurse, in the building once again. Yes, it's a happy Thursday. It's Thursday. Yes, and guess what, guys? It's raining outside, but your girl, Bronx Nurse, is what? How are you doing? How are you doing, man? Oh, my Lord. We're up. We're about. If you're seeing this video, we are alive. How are you doing? How are you doing? Guess what? I'm off today. So I said, that's what? I was off yesterday, too, but... You know, guys, you see, when you work and you work, the body needs rest. Who can attest to that? I tell you. You can testify to that. Can you? Yes. The body needs rest. So, you know what I did yesterday? Tidy up my bathroom. Tidy up the boys' bathroom. Make my bed. Make sure the house is tidy. And I relax. I didn't do anything yesterday, really. I watch tennis. I watch a few of my videos. I watch Auntie Dana on live. I go on YouTube, went on YouTube a bit, but I rest most of the day. I stay home and rest. Just rest, rest, rest. The body needs rest, you know. You see, if you work, 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 and you don't give this body some rest, trust me, it will cut down on you. Yes, so this is your girl, Bronx Nurse. I'm just sitting inside my room, guys. I'm going to show you outside. It's raining outside. Yes, it's a rainy day. It's a rainy day in Georgia. I'm going to reason with you guys a bit. And we're going to talk. It's that type of day. You know when it's raining, what you feel for? I don't feel for any food. I feel for something else. But it's raining, and, but I'm home alone today. So guess what? The boys are in school and I'm home alone. Nobody else is here. So I have to suck in my feelings. But we're going to do a little talking. We're going to do a little talking. <laughs> can you tell what I'm going at? Yes. I hope you can tell what I'm going at. So I'm going to take you outside, guys, and show you. It's raining in the Bronx. But guess what, guys? We needed the rain. We were going through a little bit of drought. Believe you me, yes, we have, we were having a little bit of drought. So thank God for the rain. So I'm going to take you outside and show you guys that it's really raining outside. Yes, it's, let's walk with me. Walk with me. Yes, I see it's raining outside. Rainy day in the Bronx. Rainy day in the Boogie Down Bronx. Yes, it's raining outside. Ah, can you see the rain? See the table outside? All wet. It's sweep side on my mo on this side of the road this morning. On Thursday, it's sweep side. What time is it? It's 11 o'clock. Sweep side finishes like, I think it's 9 to 11. Yes, yeah, so I didn't put my car outside today. I left my car in the driveway. Yes, it's raining, guys, but guess what? The floor is the same. Thank you for the rain. See, my little what's left of the floor is the same. Thank you of the rain. Thank you of the rain. God knows how to fulfill our needs. Yes, you see how they park those bikes and just throw them down on the sidewalk. Yeah, so it's a rainy day in the Bronx today. But the beauty of it is that I'm off, so I'm not complaining. Is I'm off, I'm not complaining, guys. So how are you guys doing? Happy Thursday, one and all. Happy, happy, happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. See, that's what's left of it. Because the summer is finished, it's all dried up. All dried up. I got my money's worth of my flowers. So I'm not complaining. All right, but we're going to do a little talking. Today is talk day. Yes, it's talk day. Talk day. Yes, pretty in pink. Thank you. Pretty in pink. Thank you. I know that's what you got to say, so I say thank you. Yes. What am I going to talk about? Let's see. We're going to have adult conversation today. Yes, in the day when it's raining, it's raining all around me. I can feel it. It's a lot of rain right on King Jesus. Just send more rain. Guys, we're going to read this morning. We're going to read something from the Bible. Something from the Bible. I have a few questions to ask. All right. I see if I need a little more light. Hold on.
here order the ring lights so i can see yes guys yes guys have you ever wondered you guys have been to church many times i've been to church many times i've been going to church from i was a baby 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 but you know in this bible very rare have i been to church and the pastor preach from the songs of solomon have you guys ever noticed that they really preach from the songs of solomon why is there a reason for it the songs of solomon talks a lot about love but very rare do the, the do the pastors preach anything from the songs of solomon why church is a good place to tell people about love and to remind us as individuals that we need to love more at home as husbands and wives because in church you're not preaching fornication and adultery so you're going to preach as married couples so you're going to talk about husbands and wives all right but if you're passing by and you're not husband and wife and you hear it you still learn something from it but very rare do they ever preach anything from this book songs of Solomon. anyway this morning i got up because it's raining and i should tell you bronx nurse is in that mood i'm going to show you why bronx nurse is in that mood i'm telling you you ever hear about old but not cool yes old but not cool the nature is talking so i'm going to talk about that i'm going to show you something but let's go there let's go there which was this again yes it was um solomon 7 right solomon 7 and it starts by saying how beautiful are thy feet with shoes O princess daughter the joints of thy thighs are like jewels the work of the hands of a cunning workman thy navel is like a round goblet which wanteth not liquor thy belly is like an heap of wheat set about like lilies this is from the bible you know guys this is from the bible it's in the bible is in the book of solomon thy two breasts are like young rows that are twins. Thy neck is like a tower of ivory. Thine eyes like the fish of pools in Heshon. By the gate of Barabin, thy nose is as the tower of Lebanon, which looketh towards Damascus. I'm going to put on my reading glasses, guys, because my eyes are not as bright. It's not 2020 anymore when I'm reading. I have to put on my glasses. So let me put on my reading glasses. All right. Thine head upon thee, thine head upon thee is like caramel, and the hair of thine head like purple. The king is held in galleries. How fair and how pleasant art thou, O love for delights? This thy stature is like to a palm tree, and thy breast to the clusters of grape. I said, I will go up to the palm tree, and I will take hold of the boughs thereof. Now also thy breast shall be as clusters of the vine, and the smell of thy nose like apples. This is all from the Bible, guys. And the roof of thy mouth is like the best wine for my beloved, that goeth down sweetly, causing the lips of those that are asleep to speak. I am my beloved's, and his desire is towards me. Come, my beloved, and go forth into the field. Let us lodge in the villages. Let us get up early to the vineyards. Let us see if the vineyard flourish, whether the tender grapes appear and the pomegranates bud forth. There will I give thee, my loves. The mandrakes give a smell, 
and at our gates are all manner of pleasant fruits, now and old, which I have laid up for thee, O my beloved. The word of God for the people of God. This is the book of Solomon, and it was Solomon 7. Guys, these are such calming words. Have you ever wondered why pastors don't preach the book of Solomon in church? Have you ever wondered? I wonder. It leads me to think. Are we afraid of talking about sex in church? Because that's what it boils down to. Well, today, we're going to talk a little bit about sex. Yes, your Bronx nurse is going to talk a little bit about sex. Are you up for it? Yes, we're going to talk a little bit about sex. Sex is a word. Yes, it's a word. And when it's used as an action, it should be used between two adults. People that are of age. But today, your Bronx nurse is going to use sex as an acronym. What is sex? What is sex as an acronym? Let's go. S-E-X. What does the S stand for? The S means show. The E, everything. The X, X-rated. What does the acronym sex mean? Show everything X-rated. Can you believe it? That's what sex as an acronym means. And sex should be between two adults. Two adults. Many times as couples, I've been married before. Yes, yeah, still married. And we all know that when we are young and we are going out, oh my God, the body is his. We are X-rated. We show everything. We show the butt. We wear this. We wear that. We show everything. The moment you get married, sometimes, sometimes, not everybody, but sometimes we fall through along the way. When you when you when you're young, right, guys, I'm going to be showing some underwear. All right, they're clean. Don't worry about it. When you're young and you're sexy and you're, um, okay, you have a date with your with your other half whoever your other half is, and you, I'm talking from a female's point of view, right? Man, when you strip, right? When you take off, I won't take off, I won't show X-rated. When you take off, is the bra to match this? This is what they come and this is what they see. Oh, yes. This is what they take off and this is what they see. This is when you're not married most of the times. Because, okay, I'm showing everything. It's sex. Showing everything X-rated. Show everything X-rated. Sex. Coming from your Bronx nurse. All right, so this is when you're not married. This is when you're dating. That's what you wear. All right, you know you're married and you get the ring. And you're home. And you beard. And you're going to bed. You can tell us when you're vexed with the man, this is what you put on. Right? Yeah, Bronx nurse have butt, so Bronx nurse, one not tiny, see? This is what you put on. This is the signal that you send. You see the big difference? You see the big difference? Let me tell you sometimes, guys, something, guys. And we all know. Because as adults, we have experience, and experience teaches wisdom. Sex is universal. It's one medicine that's universal. Did you know that? Sex is great for headaches. If you're having a massive headache, and you want to relax, have some good sex. It calms the headache. It takes it away. At least it works for me. How about you? Sex, show, wing, everything X-rated. 
Let's mean we're not hiding anything from our partners. So that's why sex is supposed to be between two adults. And you really have to have some feelings for the person that you're going with. Because it's intimacy. And that's the kind of day I'm feeling right now because it's raining outside. Unfortunately, I'm home alone. Because work goes on. So that's why I decided to just have a little converse, conversation about sex. The Book of Solomon have some charming words. It's not preached much in church. Because we're not open enough to have that conversation. But I'm open enough to have that conversation with you guys. Because I was a nurse, I've seen everything. There's nothing left for me to see. I've seen everything. Are you feeling for some today? Yes. I know if you're in the Bronx and you're home with your partner and it's raining, go ahead. It's okay. Go ahead. I won't grudge you because I'm home alone. Go and enjoy it. I know when Mr. Sir sees this life, he's going to see it. Yes, she's talking about it. She's overdue. So sex showing everything X-rated. Because it's all about intimacy, guys. It's intimacy. Sex is a wonderful thing. It's a universal medicine. If you have your partner and you're on good terms, enjoy each other. Enjoy each other. This is coming from your brown snacks. What do you say about it? You can leave it in the comments. We can talk. I'll answer some of the questions that you have. If when you see this video, you have any questions about it, you can leave it in the comments section. While you're at it, go on over to my YouTube page. It is LL One Woman Band. Subscribe. Build those numbers. Build the watch hours. Let's talk a little more sex. Are you ready for it? I'm sure you are. Yes, this is your girl. This is Bronsoner. She's off today. She's not in any scrubs. She's not in any uniform. She's home. She's relaxing. It's raining outside. Yes. So go on over to that page. What's the name of my page? It is LL One Woman Band. Let's talk sex. Showing everything X-rated. Have yourselves a wonderful day, guys. Instead, I'm just going to watch some movie. I'm finished working. So I'm going to watch some movie and enjoy the rest of my day. I'll see you guys later, actually. Auntie Donna is live, so I'm going over to watch Auntie Donna's live. So what's my theme? Love is the order of the day. So I'm going to leave some love with you. Because in sex you need love. But this is love. This is love, love, love. Love is the order of the day. Love, love, love. Bye-bye.